Praise the Lord. Much. Wonderful service so far. I'm glad this morning that I came this way. I'm glad that. Yeah. I'm glad that Sunday mornings and whenever the doors of the church are scheduled services, I'm glad that I will come to church. You know, I believe, and I've said this a thousand times, I guess, over the years, I believe God honors the faithful. I believe if we're faithful to Him, I believe He's faithful to us. Most of the time, He's faithful to me anyway. But I'm glad of that, and I'm glad that He loves me. Though I'm far from being perfect, but I try to be faithful, Brother Ernest, I, I've tried to be faithful over the years. God's blessed me, and God brought me out of a, a out of a, a pit and of sin. He set my feet on a solid rock, and, he, and I'm glad that He did. I'm glad that He made a way at Calvary that I could be saved. We're living in a time now that it's hard. I. I wake up in the morning, sometimes 2 o'clock, and I'm praying. Sometimes I'll come in the living room and I don't like to disturb Alice. I come into the living room and I get my Bible and sit in there and study. You know the hardest thing for me today is the church. Not only this congregation here, I'm talking about the church. Seems to me like the church has lost her faithfulness. They're not faithful anymore uh, to God. And sometimes I told Brother Clifford a little while ago, sometimes, sometimes I think some people use it for an excuse. But I try to find an excuse to go to church. But I'm glad this morning that I have the desire to be in the house of the Lord. I'm glad I've come to hear the word and to, to do whatever it takes. I come to worship. I come this morning not to preach or not to sing. I came to worship. Amen. But I believe God, I believe God uh, honors faithfulness. I'm going to read a little bit and if you have your Bibles, the 16th chapter of Luke. We'll read a couple of verses here in, in Luke and I don't want you to be much in prayer for me this morning. I, I feel good, though I'm, you know I just turned 81, so that's the best excuse in the world not to know nothing. Amen. <laughs> People ask me something, I don't know if you're going to ask my brother. So, so I'm glad today that I have that excuse. And that's, I guess that's the good part about being this age, is you can get away with anything. Amen. <laughs> if you don't remember something, it's all right. <laughs> If you misspeak, it's all right because you're old. Amen. But anyway, I'm glad I'm here this morning. I'm glad that God has blessed me with this congregation. I'm glad God has blessed me for the years with people that I can work with. You know, God, God honors us if we're, if we're faithful. You know what? If I was, uh, I'm in the place, I really believe that I've been and am in the place that God wanted me or I wouldn't be here this long. Number one, I wouldn't be here in years this long, but I believe that the faithfulness is not me, but it's God that is in me. You see, God is, you see, God guides us. He said, He said, I'll give you my spirit. Bible, your spirit that, that, that you are the children of the light. We know that we're children of the light if we have that yeah. guider inside of us. And he said, Greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Ain't you down to that? Our uh, brother Jeff, that we have somebody that's greater than us to guide us through this life. I don't believe that with all the turmoil and the things that's going on today, I really don't believe uh, that I could make it uh, without Jesus. I don't know how people today, our uh, brother Ernest, make it uh, without the Lord today because, listen, he's the guider of my life. He's the only peace uh, that I have. We was talking I been uh, albums last night. We started uh, that the peace that we have in the Lord that we can lay down at night and go to sleep. We don't have to worry about uh, uh, tomorrow. People said, "Well, 
I don't know if I'll wake up in the morning. I'll tell you one thing. I am going to wake up in the morning. It might be on the other side. Yes. But I'm waking up yes. in the morning. Amen. I'm glad today that I'm serving yes. one. That one day after a while, that he's going to take me yes. to that place that he promised me that's called heaven. I brother Clifford, listen. I've read about it. And I want to go there. I want to see what it's like. I brother, listen. I want to go to where there's peace, joy, and happiness. Praise God forevermore. The 16th chapter, I'm going to begin with the 10th verse. He that is faithful in that which he is, which is the least is faithful also. In much, and, and and he said, and he that is unjust, the least is unjust, also in much. If therefore you have not uh, been faithful in the righteousness, in the righteous, uh, if you're faithful in unrighteousness, a uh, mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? <laughs> you see, God, God honors. Of the faithful. I'm, I'm reminded that when, uh, and I was studying a little bit last night about uh, about David. You know, when David, uh, uh, David was a man, listen, uh, uh, that God loved. God, uh, God blessed this boy. Uh, I wouldn't even be just a boy. God, uh, I've done so many things for him. Uh, he delivered him. Uh, out of the, he said, out of the, out of the powers of the bear, uh, brother, out of the mouth uh, of the lion. See, uh, David was blessed and he knew uh, where God uh, had brought him from. Uh, you see, he was faithful. Uh, I brother, listen, uh, I know when he was down, uh, when he was pinned down one time, uh, down, in, uh, down in the city, uh, I listened to them in the Philistines. Uh, they had like that set a garrison uh, of David. Uh, I couldn't move. Uh, I brother, listen, I believe uh, he might have got a little scared. Uh, that he was in a cave. Uh, but listen to me. Uh, today he was reminded uh, uh, sometime uh, where he had been. I uh, brother, listen, sometimes, I uh, brother Jeff, I'm reminded uh, of what God uh, has done for me. Uh, uh, where I have been. Uh, but he said, uh, and he told some uh, of his troops there, uh, he said, uh, if I just had uh, a drink of water, I'm uh, from Jerusalem, uh, the well. Uh, I'm by the gate. I just want to drink of water. I was somebody. I heard him. I faithful. I that they were. I brother, listen. The Bible says that they broke through. That garrison. They blew. I got him. I got David. I drink of water. I brother, listen. I they must have loved that man. They was faithful after him. I them to love God. I today, I believe they're faithful. I know God. I believe whatever I need to help us to do. I rather tell that's what we're going to do. I brother listen. I will cause I we're faithful. And God has done something for us. I you see and these guys and these men they heard I David. I brother listen. He said, Oh, then I can just get a drink of water. I'm from Jerusalem. I'm from the well. I'm by the gate. I just won't. I drink of water. I brother listen. And they heard him and faithful as they were. And they began. I brother Jim. I'm going to get him of that water. I brother listen. I'm reminded of that Jesus. I when he hung between the heavens and the earth. I brother listen. And he just won't eat. I believe, brother, I brother Clifford, I believe he was thirsty. I hang in there. I but he wanted a water they gave him. A vinegar. I brother listen. I could be today. When he was hungry, I didn't feed him. I brother, why? The unfaithful to Jesus. I brother listen. If we have to, we have to be faithful. And today, when 
I David, I wouldn't have brought the water. I'm back to David. My brother David, he took the water. I know he wanted a drink of water. I'm going to listen. He took the water and he didn't drink it. I'm going to pour it out under God. I rather listen. He gave it back under God, brother. I'm the one that made it possible. First place, God. I listen. He's faithful, and others will be faithful to Him. He's faithful, I brother, to us, to whatever we do. I brother, I'm glad today I'm serving a God disabled. I to do all things. And I told you this. I'm a formal tell you. I want more time. I brother, when I was laid in the hospital, are we talking about faithful? I now listen. I when I was laying down there in the hospital, I died. I brother, listen, they said I had already. I died once, and it, it brought me back. But listen, I guess I was in, I was in the ICU for about nine, nine days and nights. But listen, while I lay there, there was a man, and you see God, and that's faithful. And when God tells us that to do something, uh, we need to do that. Uh, God has a purpose. Uh, and don't put, uh, I don't tell you, Pastor, uh, or I need you to do it. Uh, uh, you go do it. Uh, it's your time uh, to do this. Uh, brother, listen. Uh, and as I laid down there uh, in the night, I didn't know uh, anybody in my family uh, that came uh, to see me. Uh, I don't remember uh, them coming. Uh, I don't remember anybody uh, that come. There was many, many uh, from the church uh, that visited me. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, I've been there, but I remember uh, uh, one thing. I uh, one night, uh, I brother listen. Uh, I woke up. Uh, I come to myself. Uh, I brother in the night, uh, and there was a man. Uh, I stood in there. Uh, I hold him to my bedside. Uh, of the bed rails, huh? and he was afraid, huh? and the tears, huh? I was falling huh? on my arm, huh? I could feel the tears, huh? I was falling huh? on my arm, huh? I brother listen, huh? that old man, huh? I railed, huh? I was a rattling, I brother listen, huh? I took me today, huh? you know why he was there, huh? because God, I sent him there, my brother, he listened. He wasn't down the street. He was in Louisa, Kentucky, on a housetop. My brother listened when he heard that I was in the hospital. But God told him that you better go. And he's the one that came, Brother Jeff. I came. I had to go out my eyes. The first thing I remember was Jeff. I thought with his hands on that rail. I said, God, I help him. I save him. I need him. I brother, listen. I told him today, God heard that. That's thankful. I brother, listen. If you want God, I can hear you prayers. And you want God, I can hear your prayers. I'll be thankful to God. Amen. You know, when I worked on the job, I had to be faithful. They had to be able to, to, to depend on me. Brother Jeff over Toyota, they have to be able to, to depend on you. I what good are you if, you if, if they can't depend on you? I brother, listen, they pay you and they expect you to be there. God pays me every day of my life. God blesses me every day of my life. I brother, listen, today, if God blesses us, we need to bless you. Woo! God's good. I love the Lord this morning. With all my heart, I'm glad today. I'm glad today, brother, listen, that when God I tell you to do something and you do it, I brother, listen, I had to work. Don't you ever think you won't? But we have to be, we have to be faithful. God said for us to 
be faithful in all things. And brother, we need to be faithful today. I wonder how the church is going down the tube. And brother, listen, you neighbor, some of the neighbors, is not living right, but they're going to church. And brother, listen, today if you ain't living right, don't you ever think that your neighbors don't know it. Amen. They know about it. Brother, we need to stay faithful to the Lord. I'm glad today that we we can be faithful to Jesus Christ that one day after a while we're going to go and see what it looks like on the other side. And I want to say this to you today. If you're, if you're here and you're lost, there's no way that you can be faithful to God when you're in a lost condition. But what you need to do is you need to accept Jesus in your life. You need to call upon him while he's nigh. Brother, listen. One day, one day, you might call on him. He said, I'll mock you in your comedy. I'll laugh at you. He said, listen, one day, you're going to need him. One day, you're going to need Jesus in your life. Whether you know it or not. Jesus says he was and he's coming back. I like faithful. Jesus, God likes people that's faithful. I remember, I remember that when I got out of the hospital, I came back to the church and, and, and Clifford, Clifford and Stephen was telling me, Lord Daddy, he said, I don't know how you ever made it. He drove 90 to 100. We looked for the cops, get him just in a minute. I said, he was on a mission. I cops they want to buy you when you're on a mission. I'll tell you that right now. Our brother, listen to me. God is still in charge. Amen? If you have Jesus in your life, and if you don't have Jesus in your life, I'm going to invite you this morning to come and accept Jesus in your life. Come, listen. One day you're going to need him. He has been faithful in all things to me. There's a lot of things I can tell you about. A lot of things that have happened to me along the way. I know God had something. God had something for me to do. If he had that something for me to do, I wouldn't be here this morning, Brother Ernest. God had something for me to do. If God has kept you all these years, God has kept you. Listen, he's got he's got plans for you. Listen, we didn't come to church this morning just to be perfect. We didn't come to church this morning to, to, to set the left and let everybody look at us. We came to church for one reason. And it's to worship the Lord. Amen. Listen, you hear what that too. Yeah. You hear the word and you hear to be saved. Yeah. Amen. If you're not saved, 